hi <laughs> so i created this channel about a year ago and to be honest i <laughs> i wanted to show my progress and my growth um in general i oh background i moved out of a very emotionally abusive household around two years ago and generally i am not a whole person i am very broken and i have a lot of issues to sort out but honestly i thought it would be cool to like show my progress here <laughs> it seems kind of stupid but I thought it would be nice to look back on and I thought like maybe someone would see it you know and maybe someone could feel inspired that may seem a little self-centered but you know I growing up I always thought that it would be nice to see someone in my position to look up to I didn't really have a lot of role models and I thought it would be nice you know to just see someone um, to feel represented. I made this channel over a year ago and I wanted to start out simple. I wanted to make a patchwork cardigan, like those cardigans with like the patches and it's all very different and unique and I wanted to do it. Instead of crocheting it, I thought I could knit it because I'm, I'm not a crocheter, I'm a knitter. <laughs> but it didn't really work out too well, as you can see. I wanted to make that little video, you know, because I have this habit of like starting projects and then never really finishing them. I would say I would do something, but then just not push through and it sucks. I hate it, I hate doing it. And I know that I have this problem and I thought that I could use you to peer pressure me into doing it, you know, like, you watch me and then i be like oh yeah i have to finish it because someone's watching me that kind of vibe that ordeal so <laughs> as you can see it did not work out why i'm just i don't know if you can understand but this thing is hard like talking to you is hard this i have redone this video probably two three times and it's just, it's, it's not working out. Like, nothing's working out. And the thing is, like, I go, to, I used to go to, I graduated in film. Do you know how embarrassing that is? I graduated in film. This should be my thing. This is my thing. But apparently, I suck, which is fine, you know? We grow, we develop, we learn new things. But, like, I don't know, it was embarrassing. Um the cinematography if you want to call it cinematography the shots looked terrible i look terrible honestly i hate myself like i hate how i look i hate everything and it's just it didn't it didn't look good i mean like generally i think i thought i looked good personally i love this outfit you know, I, I I still wear that outfit, but then looking at it on camera, it just makes me feel like, why? Why did you, why did you do that? Why did you choose that? Granted, I feel like I should have tucked in my shirt more or maybe just pulled it out in general, but like, it just wasn't working. Um, the lighting was off, the position was off. I thought I wasn't going to be showing my face on camera, but then it just like, it just didn't fit. And then I was having a hard time like choosing shots of how not to show my face. Like I said, didn't really work too well. Something went wrong with the camera settings. Like, I don't know if there's like this corner in the footage that just like, it, it's like it's focusing while I'm filming and that's not supposed to happen. And it's not like the, autofocus this is like a different kind of focus like it's in editing there's this option and uh when your camera is too shaky like this there's this option in video editing where you can stabilize the motion and it it never looks great like if you see it you can tell that someone used um 
motion, like this motion focus thing. Sorry, I don't have like the name on the top of my head, but you could tell. I thought I could fix it in post, but it just, there's just so much a person can do. And this was like way beyond my realm. It's just, uh, it was bad. It looked bad. And I didn't want to put anything on here that just like wasn't presentable. I think you deserve more. I deserve better. Like, I don't want to look back at it and be like, you know, but I know I will, but for other reasons, but not because I did a bad job and thought, eh, that, that's good enough. I don't like that. I don't know, at least for me. It put me in a bit of a slump, not gonna lie. Like, I, I gave up. Typical me. <laughs> I gave up the video. I felt so depressed. I cried. I had a breakdown, not gonna lie. I couldn't just pick up my camera it was like really depressing I don't know it's just at that moment I just felt like I just felt like I, I wouldn't be able to do it you know and it's stupid I'm sorry it's stupid because not everyone's first video is going to be perfect um, case in point but another thing that made me really anxious was that I had this mentality of what are people going to say and it's a horrible thing to have in your head especially when you have anxiety already I saw a TikTok great start of a story but I saw a TikTok and basically it was this kid or this teenager who was working and he was like oh congratulate like oh thanks so much for 42 followers and then um someone like some of the customers that he was working with started making fun of him and i'm scared it's those people scare me it's so stupid but <laughs> there's so much i don't know if you know but there's so much pressure and shame when it comes to content creating like holding a camera or a tripod or whatever holding a camera in front of your face and trying to vlog there will be one person who makes fun of you and I just think it's really sad. Um, for example, my husband bought me, for example, my husband bought me a ring light, you know, like this bad boy, right? And this ring light came with a huge box that flashed the words influencer, TikToker, Instagram, whatever. It had it was obviously marketed for people who wanted to start social media and rightfully so because like the ring light is really nice but in general while I was chucking around this big box we got so many stares and like a bunch of whispers about how stupid I don't know they made me feel like it's so stupid that I'm even trying like what makes me so special the thing is I'm not special no one is special no one on YouTube is special I just think that people on YouTube have the balls to do what they want to do instead of just sitting there and wishing you know and I just hate that there's so much pressure when it comes to and shame when it comes to people um, content content creating especially since that we we consume it so much TikTok, Instagram um, snapchat even like you honestly think that with tiktok you honestly think that you're going to be watching tiktok without the content creators you know what i mean youtube everyone watches youtube but like when you see a youtuber or someone who you don't know who wants to be a youtuber especially if like you're their friend or a relative or an old classmate we tend to make fun of them for even trying like why why is there that big shame? Like, I remember uh, I used to have, like, I would have like, these former classmates who would make fun of anyone who started a YouTube channel. And it's just like really shameful. You watch YouTube. Everyone watches YouTube. Everyone watches TikTok. Like, I don't understand the shame of it. You can, I guess you can boil it down to jealousy, but like, <laughs> I don't know. It was just, it's just scary thinking about that, you know? It's it's scary to 
be embarrassing and fall straight on your face and just fail in front of the people that you know and everyone else, it's scary, obviously. But like, I, I don't want to care. I don't want to, I don't want to let that get to me, you know? I don't want to stop whatever I'm doing just to satisfy everyone else. Why should I make myself miserable just so that I could appease everybody? So that's why I want to do this, despite my fails, despite like everything that didn't work out. Like, I'll figure it out. We'll do it again. We'll try again. Take two, everybody. Um, yeah. I hope that, the thing is, I hope to get, like, what I want to get out of this is mostly, like, something to look back on, you know? Tell myself, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I went through that. And the whole point of this for me is to try to improve myself and see the progress of me improving. That's my point. When it comes to content creating, I just feel like I'm losing it. You know, like I, I'm so deep into trying to satisfy everyone around me to the point where I feel like I'm losing the main point of why I want to do this. And I don't want to do that either. I want to, I don't know, I just want to grow. I want to be a person again. I want to live my life the way that I actually want to live it, you know? And I feel like everyone should do that. If it doesn't hurt you or anybody else, I feel like you should do it. Live the life that you want to. Life is too short, you know? I'm still young. You are most likely still young, regardless of how old you are. I don't know. Do it. <laughs> just do it. No matter if it's perfect or not, just do it. Just get the ball rolling, basically. So yeah, I'm sorry if this is a mess, but that's all I have to say. I'm sorry, that's my two cents. I don't really have an end card, so sorry. Goodbye. Anyway, bye. Bye-bye.